So we have multiple methods that we're using right now. The first one, which you would normally see with the, the bamboo or PVC, that's what we call the raft method. So raft method, yes. So seaweed cultivation lines are suspended between two bamboo or two PVC, and then we have raffia or drop down lines as some call them, that we then tie the seaweed on to, to that. Normally we get asked, well, how do you plant seaweed? Well, you don't really plant seaweed, you don't go and dig up the dirt. You just attach it to the rope and that will take root and that's how it grows, right? It, it absorbs nutrients from, from the environment. So that's one method. The next method we're using right now is what we call a tubular mesh method. So tubular mesh, rather. So essentially it's a, it's a plastic mesh that we feed the seaweed into that. And similar to the raft method, we would connect from end to end to PVC or bamboo. Now that method is more resilient to high wave action or high, um, high wind and strong current. So even if you would have the seaweed, seaweed breakage as you would normally find at any farm, because it's in a mesh, it will just remain there and it will continue to grow. Three month maturation phase or we, yeah, or we call it cultivation phase or cultivation cycle. But we have different species as Dr. Almendares mentioned. There is the Gracilaria species that we have. That's two, two to two and a half months and you're good to go, you can harvest it. There's the Eucuma, which you saw in the video today. That's more three months. It's, it's much slower growing than Gracilaria. But what we end up with is a much cleaner product. 